Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to take a look at the Atreyu running uh, race model. It is a supercritical foam carbon plated shoe with a great upper, and it is only $120. And so far, no compromises in performance compared to the shoes costing much, much more. Let's get into it. Hi, everybody. Sam from Road Trail Run. Today, we're going to take a look at Atreyu's October releasing race model. It's a successor to the artist and it is a completely updated shoe with new foam and a new upper. And it is a very exciting new model from the Austin brand, uh, Austin, Texas brand, who have really, really done an amazing job giving us state-of-the-art materials, uh, simple elegant construction at incredible prices because this new race model will be only a hundred and twenty dollars and I can tell you already after three runs in them that it is highly competitive with just about any of the other super shoes out there you know they cost 200 and up so let's get into all the details but uh, the the theme or the motto at Atreyu is honor simplicity and that's what they've achieved here. Um, the founder, uh, Michael, really, really takes care in honoring that motto and delivering incredible rides. And I think they've outdone themselves here. So let's get into the details. I'm also going to take them on an AB run with the, um, the prior artist and give you a few comparisons as well as my impressions from the run. Okay, so our race model, what do we have here? Well, let's talk first about stack height. Uh, we get a very generous 35 millimeter heel, 29 millimeter forefoot, so we have a six millimeter drop. That's exactly the same uh, stack height and drop as their prior artist, which is here, because they use the same final uh, molding. However, we get a completely new TPE foam midsole in place of the prior um, CO2 expanded uh, EVA, uh, super critical also. Um, so TPE foam, how do they do it? Well, they put a, they first uh, make a small mini or baby form of this midsole, then they put it in a mold, expand it with nitrogen, and then compress it to give it the final uh the final look and the final kind of uh, shaping and compression so this is a softer foam by spec um but it's not a super softy uh it's definitely not as soft as fuel cell from um from new balance for example tpe foams uh, tend to be very energetic without being soft mushy or kind of overly bouncy other brands that are using tpe include um uh, craft in the uh, pro endure in the pro endure uh, 361 and some of their trainers and especially X step in their uh, carbon plated shoes and we love the feel of TPE because it, it's it's as energetic as any other super foam it's I think more fun so because it has just a kind of uh, not uh, sharp rebound but a very energetic uh, rebound now we weigh, we weigh just about the same as the artist a few tenths of an ounce more because we come in at 8.05 ounces 229 grams in my us9 so but clearly we have a more substantial upper uh and you're going to hear my commentary from uh my ab run but in our version in our artist we had no heel counter now we have a heel counter uh we also have unidirectional kind of collars to reduce slip definitely definitely more stable and it really plays well with this very stable heel platform that's friendly for heel striking and relatively slow paces in, in other changes to the upper is we have a gusset uh, a gusset in there whereas we didn't before we have far better laces this is one of the easiest and most secure lace-up shoes uh, in the super uh, super shoe category and you see it's now perforated whereas before we had sort of cottony laces and it wasn't perforated tongue uh, treo always gives us a nice tongue this isn't one of those super thin tongues nicely padded very comfortable um, 
The mesh itself is a TPEE weave and it's sort of a ripstop pattern. Um, I find it more, certainly more substantial than what we had here, uh, but it's still very pliable. The grid pattern, I think, gives it structure and it's also reflective and a really cool touch. And you've got a cool uh, pull tab and with Atreyu's motto, honor simplicity, and that's what they've done here. Now, in terms of the outsole, it's a die cut rubber that's now perforated. You know, durability should be uh, decent, but this isn't the thickest outsole uh, out there. Whereas in bef uh, whereas before here, it, it was a uh, solid, not perforated. So what does that do? Um, the foam, the carbon plate, um, we have a relatively flexible carbon plated shoe. Let me show you, okay? I love that because it allows a rolling motion. It allows for not only fast or slow paces, whereas in the artist, totally rigid. So this is a much smoother rolling uh, shoe now um, and super pleasant to run. I'm gonna give you my impressions from the run. Uh, so what else do we have? Uh, oh yeah, we have an insole that's um, also a die cut. It's an ETPU. Um, type uh, sock liner so it isn't the uh, kind of the mushy stuff it's good um, the color for launch in October because that's when we're coming out at $120 will be what they call the team designation color um, so there won't be a, a pre-order from what we understand uh, get them while you can when they launch in October and of course they got their cool logo underneath so let me take them out for a run tell you what I found on the run Okay, so we have a more flexible riding carbon here. Very pleasant, very smooth. You can easily train in these. I'm running about 920 miles right now, which is sort of slower tempo for me. And then if you push down, you get a lot of rebound from the TPE. Hey, we're running along the harbor and enjoying it getting nice rebound, a uh, very kind of smooth flow here. The foam feel is uh, very forgiving. I wouldn't call it over soft. Uh, for example, over soft for me might be the fuel cell at New Balance and the SC Trainer and the Elite. But here there's softness, but nice rebound, quick rebound forgiving rebound okay so let's talk about relative fit between the artist version one and the racer model so first thing you notice is here we had sort of a single uh, density mesh here we have the reflective TPEE weave so it's a rip, kind of ripstop so overall the foothold is much better we also now have a, uh, a kind of a strap gusset here we had none here midfoot hold is much better. I note as we move to the laces that the lace up here is real smooth right through locked in. I haven't had to adjust on any on my first run whereas over here they're more cottony so this is a higher quality lace but the most important difference is we now have a heel counter semi-rigid heel counter. We had none here and I can really feel and I felt that as I when I tested the um, artist some quite a bit of sloppiness, even some slipping. So what the trio's done, and I'll show you another picture, is they've also put a unidirectional lining in the collars to keep the slip. So the heel hold is just really good now. Uh, back to the toe box. They went with a bit less um, of a toe bumper in terms of firmness. It's more pliable now. I think it could be a bit firmer. Um, I have a bit of toe rise. Now, both are a half size up from my usual true to size. As you can see, I have a sort of a heavier darn tough sock. So I'm going to say uh, you should be true to size in your um, in the new racer model. There's the racer model. And um, over here, for sure, as a, at a half size up, I would be 
uh, better off in my true to size, maybe even size down. But um, right now I'm thinking that it's truer to size um, in the new racer. Uh, now in terms of the basic, basic road feel, because we have more support, uh, we're much more, we're more, much more stable at the heel. We're not sl sl slopping around. Same with the midfoot. Um, the foam, the new TPE foam versus the supercritical EVA is uh, a, a bit bouncier, maybe a bit uh, denser, maybe a touch softer, whereas the artist foam was kind of quicker, quicker, a little quicker reacting. I much prefer this new foam and we've got flexibility, which I showed you before, whereas here we're pretty much rigid. I like some flex in a carbon shoe. So this now makes it at least so far a much better choice for uh, training as well and certainly a racer. I would definitely consider this for a half marathon uh, and up, whereas over here, well, if the hold had been resolved, I would have said 10K shoe. The plate isn't really noticed uh, as much as in some super shoes in both of them, and I can really feel much more roll off the front here than in the artist. So the, the artist, I think, favored a real good solid midfoot strike, whereas this one's more generous to a more of a rear strike as well as training paces. Okay, a few conclusions about our uh, race model from Atreyu. Uh, if you're looking for a carbon plated shoe that isn't a chore to run at any pace, uh, look no further. And especially, you, it won't hurt your wallet at $120 for this beauty. So, um, it is definitely high performance in so far in all my runs. Uh, I tied a Strava segment PR today. Uh, the last uh, tie in the shoe in the shoe was the Solomon S Lab Phantasm we just recently reviewed on the channel, um, and they are in some ways kind of similar, although uh, the Solomon has a very soft lower layer, um, whereas here it's all a single density. Um, they're both equally quiet on the road. This is a very quiet shoe on the road the, there's no plate harshness it's maybe not quite as aggressive as your adios pros or your endorphin elites um, uh, maybe even the vaporfly uh, but it's a smoother operator and it's very stable now that we have a real heel counter to go with what's a really good platform the foam this tpe foam as i said in the intro is one of my favorites. The, uh, th that material just seems to be more pleasant at, while being energetic. Of course, they dramatically improved the upper over the artist. So if you tried the artist and had some slipping or poor hold, you will not have such issues here. Although I would like to see a little more uh, structure to the toe bumper, uh, a little bit, it's a bit pliable. My, I'm a, I was a half size up here. Um, in this uh, sample, and I wore fairly hit thick socks. I would go true to size. There's plenty of room in the toe box, and the light upper <laughs> makes the true to size work well. Everything was super well held, but I had a little bit of toe rise up front. I think you'll you should be true to size here in thinner socks, but I would like to see a bit more structure up front. I particularly particularly like the fact that this is a full carbon plate with some flex. That allows a rolling motion. It also prevents any uh, midfoot plate harshness, which makes it a really fine option for training. Uh, shoes that come right to mind, too, in particular, the Mac X from Hoka, a compression molded EVA foam. I gotta say, this foam clearly outperforms it. The Mac X has a PBAX plate. Um, so they both are, you know, relatively mellow, but um, the Mac X is, is kind of blocky at the heel uh, and the foam just doesn't, doesn't keep up with what we got here. Another one, SC Trainer 2 from New Balance. Higher stack and weight and also a semi-flexible carbon plate. Really, uh, but for 120 bucks, I think I'm going with the Atreyu in that matchup. Uh, let's see if there's some others we might uh, talk about. Well, we, we talked about um, 
uh, other TPE foam shoes and the X-Step uh, 160X, so oh, I forget which one, I think the 2.0, is similarly uh, flexible, a touch more aggressive, but has an equally kind of pleasantly reactive ride as here. So we're gonna have a full uh, multi-tester review on roadtrailrun.com real soon. They're available October 120 bucks and get them while you can because I'm sure the first shipment will uh, sell out. Congratulations to Atreyu for another marvelous, marvelous running shoe uh, that's simple, low cost, and for sure honors simplicity, which is their motto. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great run.